The Dusty Futon is a Big John Entertainment production. Go to BigJohnEntertainment.com to sign up for the Big John Entertainment newsletter to receive updates on the Dusty Futon and other Big John Entertainment productions. Hey guys, Big John here, and uh, welcome to another episode of the Dusty Futon. This is the final episode before we actually get into Season 6, which is next week, beginning off with Ronnie Lee, and we talk a little bit about that in this episode, but mainly... This episode introduces our brand new co-host, Spicy Kim, so you get to hear a little bit about her, including where she got the nickname Spicy. It's actually stupid and funny at the same time. (laughs) But anyway, it's me, Tyler, and Kim all sitting around talking about the past, talking about the future, give you a little insight of what we do, why we do what we do, and uh, where we're going from here. So... Take a listen and find out what we, the Dusty Futon, are all about. Because we work with only local independent artists who can't afford their own media team to come out and do shit. So that is right. and that's correct. what the Dusty Futon is. That's right. We like to sit here and promote and support our up and coming and even long time existing local musicians. And this episode is brought to you by Backstage360.com, the musician's media. The Dusty Futon is a musician's podcast bringing you the raw musician and what they bring to the table. Backstage360.com works hard to bring you even more with creative write-ups, professional interviews, and stunning photography. Full disclosure, I do contribute write-ups and reviews and conduct interviews for them occasionally. Backstage360.com also assists with the promotion of events, products, tours, new music, and they provide an overall insider's peek into the impedimenta of the backstage. Backstage360.com. They truly are the musician's media. But that's not what it started as. No, it's we, this was a Frankenstein <laughs> baby that we put together out of just, I don't even know what. You know what I love, I though? Think it, we were just bored in your garage one day. Yeah. <laughs> we decided we wanted to be stupid and just talk on the radio. Well, that didn't change. We still do the same thing now. Like yeah, that, but, but it's kind of metamorphosized into something of its own. Is that a word? Yes. I, that doesn't I, sound I, right. No, it is. I swear to God, it's a fucking word. <laughs> but <laughs> it turned into this thing where we talk to musicians in San Diego. And now it's just like, it's so amazing what it's become. And now we've got a new co-host. Yes, we do. Say hello. Hello. Introduce yourself. Spicy Kim here on the Dusty Futon. Happy to be here. Happy to be here. Kim, tell us a little bit about yourself. Where do you come from? Well, first, if you recognize that voice, she actually was in in season three. Was it season three? Or four. No, it was season season four. four. Mm -hmm. Uh, She was in season four, the one of the seasons you were gone for. Mm -hmm. And uh, she was on with her husband, John Campos, and uh, John Campos and the Incurables. Yes. So if you recognize her voice, that is the new co-host, Spicy Kim. It's me. I'm back. That's right. (laughs) Welcome aboard the Dusty Futon. Thank you. It's good to be here. Pleasure to have you. And I'm so sorry that you happened to swipe right when Big John's... (laughs) Picture came up on your Tinder profile, and that's how this whole thing started. I just put my phone in my pocket. I didn't even swipe. <laughs> I butt swiped. Yeah. Yeah. It happens. Right. I'll take a swipe any way I can get it, though. <laughs> nice. Well, we're happy to have you. Aboard, so. Thank yes. you. Yes. You sound like the one nine hundred girl that I called the other day. <gasps> Are you Veronica? Three ninety nine a minute. <laughs> <laughs> Only for the first five minutes. It's the <laughs> nine min nine ninety nine a minute after that. You know it's funny you said Veronica and that's my pen name. <laughs> oh my <laughs> god. <laughs> True story. That's so you. I get so Oh you. my god. Wow. Okay. How did I know? You got it me. Just, I don't know. <laughs> I get inside your mind. <laughs> I'm a little freaked out now, man. <laughs> well, you made a great impression. We've already talked to a bunch of bands, and you've been uh, sitting back and kind of learning the field. What? How do you? How do you feel about kind of your position of sitting in the background and just asking questions out of the blue like a fan would? I, I love it because it's like you're. I'm a fly on the wall, but I'm I'm in the room with them and able to interact. And so, and and as a fan, I'm not a musician myself. I really enjoy hearing their side of the story because I know how hard they work. I mean, I'm married to a musician, so I do get that side of it. And it's like, man. Yeah, a lot goes into it. You don't just walk up to a club and see some cats play for forty five minutes and they leave and they're like, "That's yeah. it." Yeah, <laughs> yeah, and, and that's why they they need to get their voice out there, and that's what we're doing here is because there's a lot of musicians in Southern California alone in San Diego, Orange County, L A. that that just don't get their voices heard on any medium right now because of the industry. <laughs> I wasn't sure if you're going to take no. that one. Or not. No. I totally had the facial inflection of like. I'm about to say something. Uh, something profound is going to come out kidding. of my mouth. <laughs> yeah. Can I just say that lozenge has to be one of the most hideous words ever in the English language? 
Moist. Uh, they taste good. No, moist. Moist is propaganda. We were <laughs> we were taught to hate moist. I don't know why, because when I think moist, I think cake and like brownies and things like that. It's uh-huh. it's a good thing, you uh-huh. know. So lozenge, on the other hand, is um, it just sounds weird. It doesn't flow off the tongue very well. You, you sound know? weird, or don't it's, I? Because I have a lozenge in my mouth. That, that would be why. Like, like a lozenge, it sounds like you're just gonna choke to death on it. <laughs> I like the menthol though. It's all it's breathy. Mm. Does it like remind it. you of your old aunties yes. smoking cigarettes as menthols and my, I, well, long no. Virginia Slim things? <laughs> oh no, hell, my, my grandma was a Marlboro Red woman. Oh damn! Did oh, she, she like non filter and the whole yeah. way? Huh? No, not the non filter. I don't know. You know, I don't know. I we think know I'm pretty a lot sure about she cigarettes. Had well, because you know, it's something she yeah. smoked them when I was a kid, and that's why I'm kind of partial to the smell of uh-huh. cigarettes. Uh, and I used to smoke, but I've quit 15 years ago. And yeah, <laughs> bragger. Yeah, right. Ever <laughs> overachieved. Well, you know, it is good to have Tyler back too. Like you were gone for almost a year. And oh, it's good to be back too. <laughs> I had to collect myself. You know, you, it was try, you like tried to break up, but it didn't work out. Hey, my life became a country song, essentially. Yeah, <laughs> we're just going to leave it at that. Uh, but you know, I, I had to step away, get some perspective, kind of like a Bob Ross painting. You know, and just like you know, you know what? Big, You're stepping away though. Gave me proof that you, or she kind of showed me that you were more of a host than a co-host anyway. And the show needed a co-host, and that's what happened when you walked away. You were in the first se- first episode of season three, and then after that, I had a couple of guest co-hosts before I landed on having Tyler or Trevor. I kept calling him <laughs> Tyler too. I called him Tyler as well <laughs> when I was on. It was I was like, so ah. funny because everybody calls me Trevor. Yeah, you, you somehow <laughs> had this presence on the on the dusty futon still after you left, but it turned into a co-host spot. And so when you came back, you're now a host. I guess. I guess I am. Yeah. <laughs> well, that, that worked out for me. <laughs> <laughs> I left a left a void that only Spicy Kim could fill. Right? Exactly. Well, you know, it's kind of like Kim. I have to warn you. We're like the Sith. I'm just, you know, I'm the main one. It always comes in twos. You're my apprentice. One day you will destroy me, and then you will have to take on an apprentice of your own. I got it. Sidekick. Yes. I don't. Superhero this is not kick. Star Wars. <laughs> this is. I it keep is having Star to Wars, remind Big you. John, no. Star Wars is life. <sighs> <sighs> No, you will you understand can, one day, you can young Padawan. Equate everything to Star Wars, but not everything <laughs> is Star Wars. <laughs> you can also find Tyler at any Comic Con. Much sure they're not you. <laughs> yes, yes as a matter of fact, believe it or not, I the very <laughs> first year I did go out in my Obi Wan costume and I promoted the Dusty Futon. I found that picture. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. It's it was, true. It had lightsabers on the, the card and everything, and it said, "You will listen to the Dusty Futon." Oh my God! And I that tried was to so do awesome. my favorite, like a uh, uh, Alec Guinness. We uh, actually had a boost in numbers when you did that. We actually had more downloads. The funny thing is, it was great because I would just walk by nonchalantly looking all Jedi-like, and then I would just like walk by some crowd and go, here you go, here you go. Start <laughs> handing stuff. People would see it and thought that I was like a secret prize giver away which nice. is a word. Oh. And and yeah. so they would is run that... up to me, what do you got? What do you got? And right? i just hand them out the card, slinging them like it was fucking candy. It was crazy. That's uh, epic. You should it see was Kim. Jedi she was just tricks. dying over there right now. She's like, I can't believe this. <laughs> I was these over. Guys. I couldn't even stand it. I'm like, oh, good. Oh. What, what, have I, what have I got myself into? <laughs> Kim, the thing you need to understand about me is I am shameless. Okay, Zero shame whatsoever. No reservations. I ham it up everywhere I go. Well, and I think she already knows that because we've already talked to her. That's why she never goes in public with me. It's <laughs> only in her living room where she can see all the windows and the blinds are closed. Yes. You notice that? It's yeah. not yes. just for lighting. And I no. keep you mic'd up too at all times. You notice that? <laughs> yeah, just, just for security purposes. <laughs> exactly. Well, we've already talked to a few bands with, uh, with you, with Tyler and me splitting up kind of hosting duties. Yeah. And you've been... Sitting back with just about, I think you've been in all of them as the co-host. It's, it's been quite a few, and it's been fucking rad, every single one. Isn't it fun just kind of oh, talking to these guys I'm and so listening to what they have to say? The so stories you, you kids are going to hear this season are unbelievable. It's, you have to listen in. Just Every band has such a crazy yeah. something nutty comes up. And I hope it generates a little inspiration within people out there that might be thinking, you know, I want to start a band, because that's what really started this whole thing, too, was the magic of, of you know, uh, you see somebody on stage that plays their heart out, and you're like, I love that. I love everything they're saying and they're doing, and I want a piece of that. You aspire, you train yourself, and eventually you get there, and all the rewards are, are for the taking. And maybe this is just what you need. Well, and on top of that, w- listening to people who have done it, who are died in the wool musicians, like we've got a band on here that they both been playing music collectively for over 50 years. And they're coming on this season, you know? Jesus. And we've got Damn. a couple of kids that barely have two years of experience as a band. So you get 
the whole gamut throughout the Dusty Futon. And through the processes, you get to hear what works, what didn't work, what to do next. So if you're, oh, yeah. if you're a band and you're stuck in a rut, you never know. You might find a little, di- a little tidbit, a little golden nugget of information that may help you get over that next hump. Right. Get you out of your rut. Because if you're doing the same thing over and over, sometimes you're just like, oh, it's going to happen, it's going to happen. And you hear these stories of these bands that work so hard and they just throw it in a different avenue, put a wrench in their own system, yeah. get out of their comfort zone, and then, you know, it, it changes things. Yep, exactly. And that's what that's what one thing this is all about. Like, it's all about giving a, a, giving a voice to the musician, giving a voice to the community to keep it here in San Diego and to keep it only local and independent. Like, uh, this upcoming season, we're going to we're gonna start growing. We may, you know, <laughs> with the interest that we have from all these different bands here in San Diego alone and some other bands from L.A. and Orange County reaching out, we're going to probably have to double up episodes very quickly. <laughs> bum, bum, bum. <laughs> You're welcome, <laughs> listeners. <laughs> so that means more <laughs> bands for you to listen to, more different styles of music and more input from different different types of people like the diversity is it's really awesome so far already yeah yeah and it ju- and the people have been submitting for requests that we haven't even talked to yet that you still have to reach out to yeah and i get a lot of bands that reach out well, we get a lot of bands that mm-hmm. reach out and yeah. I, i'm out and about and i reach out and everybody's just like okay when when can i get on yeah and exactly <laughs> exactly and all, they, all you gotta do is send an email admin at dustyfuton.com or you know it, or you can go online and, and sign up for the newsletter uh, we have a brand new website, DustyFuton.com. It just got streamlined and slim. Every episode, season one through five, and the remix episodes are up there on the website, so you can listen to. Available on iTunes and now Spotify as well. <laughs> We're on Spotify, Google Play, but they only go back to season three on those. Jesus. Or sorry, season four. So far, oh, that's stay true. tuned. Yes, that's right. And also, you just you you we do need. Your original music. We want yes. three three of your original tracks that you want us to, to showcase for your episode. Yeah, that's one of the things we focus on is making sure you're original musicians, that you're doing your own thing, you're making your own stuff up, you're your own artist, you're not copying somebody else because that that's got its own that's got its own spot, of course, mm-hmm. but not here. It doesn't have to be always be recordings though. We welcome people who want to bring some instruments in. Oh yeah. Oh god yeah. We've had live moments. Yeah. Absolutely. And I, I love those and cherish those the most. We had a lovely young lady, Jillian Calkins. Or is it Calkins? Calkins. One of those. Calkins sounds funner. So Calkins let's go with is that definitely one. funner. <laughs> A uh, beautiful young lady. She brought her acoustic, and she actually performed live. She didn't have any recorded tracks. She just jazzed out, and she's an amazing jazz vocalist. And I think she was yeah. only twenty two at the time. She's super young, super talented. So we we get some really really unique characters to begin with, and then like you said, the special moments. Um, who was it? Oh, you were jamming out one episode. Didn't we do a couple blues jams? And you whipped out your your harmonica. I think we may have done. Don't tell me I whipped out my. Oh thing. no, I think you did. Oh, that that had to have been You're in season have to three. Do some digging. That was had to have been in season three. We didn't do any <laughs> remix of those yet. Oh my god, <laughs> that's that that was. You never know what you're gonna get. On I Justin think Gutton. I that's was. Right. I don't think I was completely in my mind every episode that uh-huh. season. <laughs> <laughs> you know, keeps it colorful. That's what it was. The beginning of yeah. season four is where you started. Uh, season four, episode one, you did that one. Was and it in season four? I think that was never past go. Their their return on the episode, they monopolized no. the futon. No, no, no. I wasn't there. That was Trevor. Oh. That other Tyler, you mean? Yeah, the other Tyler. <laughs> the other Tyler. Tyler number two. Well, <laughs> Tyler either 2. way, 0. I know you were you were at the very first season of episode four, and because that was like two months before uh, Anthony Collins came on. Uh, the Fallbrook kid. Yeah. So <laughs> anyway, talent. enough about living in the past. We're talking about the future here. We got <laughs> we got so, we got some really great bands coming up this episode, huh, Big John? Oh my God! Next week is Ronnie Lee. <laughs> like Jesus Christ, this woman is insane. She's a living legend. She's fucking amazing. Yeah. She's a powerhouse, is what she is. Yes, yes. Not only did she bring a lot of energy to the futon, just the conversation that we had here, <laughs> but the music that she brought to the table blew me away. I was yeah. listening to it the whole way home. Yeah, and I was driving ninety miles an hour. Mm-hmm. She can it. slam a guitar and oh. just scream it out better than any man I know, including you. She Tyler. shreds. Mm-hmm. She shreds. Mm-hmm. She's like 
a, a one woman ACDC. She really does play like a girl. <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> yes, she does. Mm-hmm. And it's pretty awesome that she's got that record label, and that's completely independent too. Play yeah. like a girl record. She owns it, she owns everything about it. You don't have to be a girl to be on her label either. No, you don't. No. So that's good news for you, Tyler. (laughs) (laughs) You play like a girl. (laughs) Dang it, I already had the surgery. I can't go back now. I I have to tell you, my daughter plays competitive soccer, and... um, we were going. She was at a soccer so- showcase recently in Oceanside, and they have a bunch of banners with with past uh, athletes who have played there. And there was a quote from Mia Hamm and past like P A S S E D, like you're <laughs> dead now. Uh, no, no, no. P A S T. I called it past players. So Mia Hamm, who's on the American women's soccer team, and she's she's pretty well known. Very very hot. Very. So the quote. There was a a banner of a quote from her, and and by the way, she's really very hot. Yes, very hot. (laughs) She's not a little talented and gifted. She's very hot. Oh, the hot one! I want to ham it up. (laughs) So (laughs) she can ham it up with me anytime. (laughs) (laughs) Well, the quote was: (laughs) her coach told her. um, You guys fucked me. We broke her already. Oh, I got it. The coach said, you run like a girl. And she said, coach, if you ran faster, you could too. Oh. Burn. Damn. That sounds Boom. like something that hot, sexy piece of ham would say. Oh, sorry. When you're that good, you, you can just burn. fucking say whatever you want. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> that, that, that's, what, that's one of the things that is just kind of awesome about music, independent music now. It's basically an F you to the industry. Because the industry is kind of pushed out the little guys. You don't Let's need be Seagram's honest. Anymore. Also, the stuff you hear on the radio nowadays mostly Bot. is garbage. It's it's it's, it's pre-packaged, it's diluted, it's pre-packaged. Exactly, it's flavor of the week, and it's going to be gone in three months. Believe me, the song you're listening to now, <laughs> watch, check it. Three months from now, you're going to be listening to a new different song. You don't yep. even care about that band. So anyway, nope. we've got the new, the up and coming, the people that are in your backyard, your neighborhood, your best bar, your venue, your dive. Your and garage, if you subscribe and you get the episodes as they come out, you're also going to hear upcoming shows that you can go and attend and listen to these bands and meet them. And these are bands where you can hear about them here in the Dusty Futon. And when you go and see them live, they'll meet you. They'll yeah. shake your hand. Mm-hmm. They'll have a drink with you. They'll go talk to you at the merch booth. They welcome it. They, they welcome they, it. They love that shit. Son of a bitch, you can also come and meet us. Oh my God. Coming up soon, May 19th. Oh my God. Here we're we go. going to be right here in San Marcos, at North County, May- at Biggs Harley Davidson. Can you can you talk in the microphone <laughs> like that? <laughs> and who's the rookie? It's God. Saturday. I know, Isn't right? It? Is it Saturday? It is a Saturday. It is Saturday, yeah. Saturday, May 19th, we're going to be at Biggs Harley Davidson in San Marcos at. Oh, the May ride. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Caught you it happens, No, it happens every year on Armed Forces Day. And I believe this is the 19th annual, if I'm not mistaken. But It, it is the 19th on the 19th. I know, Ooh, right? It's pretty cool. Armed Forces Day every year. Cool. Uh, yeah. Salute to the military. <laughs> but while. We're doing that. There's also a stage where local artists come out and perform for your entertainment. And we're going to be there, too. We're going to yep. be doing interviews. We're going to be out there meeting, greeting, shaking hands. No, kissing hands and shaking babies. Uh, oh. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> he, he was Will so Ferrell close. will not he be here. So he did will t- Ferrell will not punch your baby. <laughs> he did a twist on it. That's all. It know. was close. It was close. <laughs> but, yeah, no, we're going to be right there just, just north of the stage with our own little dusty futon set up. Come on out. Say hi. Shake hands with us. Tyler's going to be walking around with this really cool new contraption <laughs> the, which we're calling the dust buster yes stay tuned or just come along and check it out yeah you got to be there to see this thing because it almost looks like a prototype or no pro, pro it almost looks like a proton pack proton pack yes correct Go, man you i can't believe how long you've been on the microphone and you still don't fuck you're doing this on purpose it is he, he's doing this I'm on gonna purpose i'm gonna make you work for this big john Apparently. i'm gonna make you're editing a job why don't fuck you turn me up anything. just a little bit turn me up just a little bit That's there we go problem. there we go okay better all right, all right. better all right. Cool. Awesome. <laughs> better. So anyway, better if you want to come fit. and check it out for yourself, you may even end up on an episode of the Dusty Futon, too. Yeah. At this point, we're going to do special, just special uh, shows after the 19th 
where it doesn't have to be a musician. If you're a fan of music and you want to just talk about the music scene, you want to talk about where, you, where you've seen some shows, you want to drop some names of bands, I mean, come on, have a seat for 5, 10, 15 minutes and just talk to us. Yeah, and this, this event's complimentary, so you can just walk on in, you can see the bands. Tyler will be walking around yep. with his... His proton pack on or yep. whatever. Yeah. It is a family. Fa- it's family friendly. <laughs> yes. You can bring everybody to There this. is a kid zone that's completely free where you can play games and win prizes for free. And there's some badass motorcycles. So if you're looking to also buy something, go hit up Howie inside and he'll oh get you taken care of. Yeah. Howie's cool. I love Howie. Howie is yeah. awesome. Mm-hmm. We Howie. do love Biggs Harley Davidson because they do put on one hell of a ride up there. And they've got one of the they best hog chapters, mm-hmm. too. Ooh, yeah. They do a lot of community. Um, um, they do. Oh, stunt help. shows, too. Oh, God, yeah. Yes. They got people on motorcycles doing wheelies and burnouts. Like, literally, I almost got <laughs> It was so close, I thought I was going to get hit by one. It was so exciting. It was awesome. <laughs> uh, oh, and there's one other thing that's really, really fucking awesome happening. Yeah. Every year for the last couple of years, this has been like one of the first things in Mayride. Big John performs. Oh. Live. What? Wait, what? are you actually going to play the drums or the guitar? Guitar. <laughs> of course. Singer, I knew songwriter, you were a drummer. Shit. Wait, what? <laughs> what? I, only because you haven't heard it yet. <laughs> I haven't seen it, therefore it doesn't exist. There's a video like, on YouTube. I'm just kidding. It's <laughs> We're going to edit that out. <laughs> <laughs> There's a video on YouTube of me playing drums. You haven't seen it yet? <coughs> Guess that's a no, Big John. No, I refuse <laughs> to. What? I don't think that's you. No. Mm-hmm. He needs to see it live in person. I thought, no, that was Phil Collins on hiatus. <laughs> <laughs> he saw it coming. He gave a lot away. Oh, jeez. <laughs> <laughs> nice drop. Nice drop. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> it's going to be a lot of fun. You must tune in. <laughs> you sounded Me? like Phil Collins. Almost. Uh, Phil Collins. <laughs> 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 make, sure, make sure you subscribe. Hit the subscribe button. You can check us out on DustyFuton.com. You can actually subscribe from there, too. Or um, go Follow us on Facebook as well. Yeah. And Please. we are on Spotify. We are. We are. That, that was quite spotty. <laughs> I thought you were... He did. <laughs> we're on did Spotify. you do that on purpose? No, I didn't. I thought you were going to chime in like randomly. Oh. <laughs> are we on Spotify? We're on Spotify? iTunes? Google yeah. Play? Yep. All of it. Google Play is weird. It's hard to find us on Google Play. So fuck Google Play. Just there, go to Spotify. You got to go to like a podcast app and and just search for us. Any podcast app that you find, the Apple one is the best uh, Apple uh, podcast app. And like I said, just dustyfuton.com to check it out. Spotify, if you're a Spotify fan, search for it. We're everywhere. And if you're a musician, ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh, I've always wanted to try oh, this. Can I? He's yeah. got something. Alexa, play the Dusty Futon on Spotify. Booyah, you just you just signed up. Wait, wait. Alexa, subscribe to Dusty Futon on Spotify. Yeah. Boom. You're welcome. Yeah. <laughs> You'll thank us later, trust us. Alexa, volume ten. <laughs> Alexa, go to eleven. <laughs> oh my god, you sound like Alexa. It doesn't go to eleven. But it does. It, uh, but uh, it's why one not la- just this one does eleven. It's just eleven. Well, why not go to 10? Well, not just make just it make 10. 10 louder. <laughs> but just go to 11. If you know any musicians that like going to 11. <laughs> oh, you know they're out there. And they want to have their JCM their 800 own episode. amps stacked high in the sky. Oh, my God. You know that stuff. I do. I know you some, guys I know are some such stuff. Nerds. That gives me an idea. I want to open up a music venue and call it 11. And it'd be like, this one goes to 11. Dude, see, it's one louder. Let's go to 11. <laughs> mm-hmm, it's one louder than 10. <laughs> one louder. One louder than 10. <laughs> <laughs> admin at dustyfutan.com if you watch your own episode <laughs> we'll see you there yes that was not the end of the episode though I was no. just throwing that out there is this an episode it, well this is this is I mean, shit he's going to have to chop to pieces to become a little this <laughs> I know that, right? right this is this is going to be fun You're um, this is just a little Very episode fun. to kind of introduce Spicy uh, to Hi. the to the followers of the futon who haven't heard her yet this is me I'm Spicy I'm a Virgo I like long walks on the beach with my husband. I am You're a San Diegan. You don't go for long walks on the beach. You take it 100% for granted. And or you never, when's the last time you went in the water? Oh, well, I don't go in the water. <laughs> did you see? Not my 100% proves my No, point. no. I did put my toes in the water about three weeks ago <laughs> when I took my ch- my children to, to the and beach. And you probably went running, screaming to Escondido. Ah! <laughs> yeah. Jesus. It's something like that. I go my ears. Sorry, you guys. Sorry. If I went to Escondido, I'd blow right past my home, so that would really suck. Yeah, I would. Yeah. Plus, you got no business, Escondido. And the Dito, man. The Dito. (laughs) 
I'm but trying to but you are name. you are local to San Diego. I was born well, in Los Angeles, but I've been in San Diego since uh, quite a bit. Yes. But There's no going back now. No. You know this. Oh You're no. No. Especially no. Los Angeles. <laughs> you know, there's band Rival Sun have this kick ass song called Burn Down Los Angeles. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Yeah, yes. Awesome. And it's not even the fact that like you're a prisoner of your own device here in San Diego. It's that even if you left now, you would never reach Los Angeles to the traffic <laughs> that's there. <laughs> five. Take a couple days. Yeah. <laughs> Bring your porta potty with you. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> you know, maybe if you got like one of those dockless bikes, you know, like the Ofos or the Limey things, you What's might be able to squeeze in between the traffic, you know? Maybe. Yeah. Uh, they're being vandalized or some jive. Yes, I heard, uh, especially in San Diego, the homeless population are, t- oh. are ripping them to pieces just wow. to use them as free bikes. And, Cor- <laughs> and Coronado says they're just going to c- confiscate them. They don't want their f- bikes on their... Well, they yeah, already that's, have. That's because of... Uh, People are bringing yeah. them over on the ferry yes. now. Yeah. Yeah. You're allowed to bring your bike on the ferry. Yep. Yeah, and, and, and places like Coronado and in Arizona, places like Scottsdale, they're like, get this shit out of here. It's littering. A lot of there's there's some people who are trying to call it littering. I think it can be done a little more responsibly. I kind of yeah. like the service, but I do, I do understand there's a little bit of an eyesore when there's like three bikes just piled up on their side right outside your driveway, and you can't even pull out without having to scrape these things off the road. Yeah, um, it, a little bit of a nuisance in that sense. But I think if people learn and kind of take it a little bit responsibly, kind of like social media, <laughs> that maybe it could be a wonderful blessing. It, could know, be. it gets people moving. It gets people riding their bikes, and maybe it's gonna, you know, kind of help the obesity problem we have here in America. Well, that's McDonald's no. damn dollar man. Come on. I, I, I actually <laughs> I went for a joyride on one of the scooters. Oh, the little yeah, because yeah. they do have bikes and they also have scooters. They have electric bikes and oh, they have scooters. Really? And I I told you I I gotta tell you it was it was a lot of fun because I haven't ridden an electric scooter like <laughs> honestly, I, but I ride motorcycles. You know, right. I've had gas scooters, but it's just you know it was kind of fun. I went for a joyride, and I rode this thing. It went up to like 14 miles per hour, and I rode it Whoa. for like a mile and a half just Speed all the racer. way around. Right? You, get, f- you get clocked on the, the radar? Like, no, it, actually, it, has, it, ha- it tells you how fast it's going. <laughs> he gets lit yeah. up on his moped or whatever. 5 <laughs> <laughs> baby, 5 <laughs> Wait, is that French? Uh, you're going too slow, yeah. sir. You're That's not going to tell my friends that I ride this, do you? Yeah. <laughs> he's next like, time, let's take no, a selfie. Next time I do, I'm going to go. I'm going to get a selfie stick and I'm going to go live on the scooter. And I'm just going <laughs> to wave it around, and be like, "What's going on, Dusty Futoners?" Oh, that's going to be a great cat, a great crash video. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, no, I t- actually I tried for a second. I tried to go only one handed and started wobbling. I'm like, oh shit, nope. Hey, and it doesn't matter how you go viral, really. If that happens, no. as long as you're okay, that's free promotion. For the food time. Exactly. Yeah. Let's get those subscribers mm-hmm. Speaking up of free promotion, good. if you're a band, come on. Hit us up. Admin at Dusty Futon. Was that, are you throwing that one to me? I just didn't know. Oh, okay. No, I just wanted to say it. Okay. I just said it. It was nice. What are you going to do about it? Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> My dad can beat up your dad. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Anyway, yeah, no, if you, you can hit us up, admin at dustyfutan.com. It's really easy. We'll get you set up. Uh, executive producer over here, not only co host, Spicy Kim, will contact you and get you set yeah. up with all the deets of what we need and what we want from you to get you yeah. on an episode. Yeah, speaking of deets, what can why do they spicy? call you spicy? Is that something that we can explain on the air? Or is that getting too deep? Can I? Do I have to bleep a lot of it out? Because I want to hear it. Right? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like, well, it all started back when... <laughs> and then this jacket I lent to this guy. <laughs> and this elephant, he stepped on this... <laughs> with a DeLorean. <laughs> and 1.21 then you that's gigawatts. Right. After you add three quarters cup of brown sugar. <laughs> and that's how they called me spicy. <laughs> it's kind of like that. <laughs> I got most of it. I'm leaving that in. Yeah. That's too fucking funny. <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever gone on, uh, I think it's Cragen or, yeah, it's O'Reilly. Cragen? O'Reilly Auto Parts. Oh. And you Google 121G. Um, one, one why Why would you Google 121G? No, you, one, you, okay. What is I, that? I know where he's going and he's going to show Hold you Hold on. Right yeah, now. I got to I got to show this uh because it's freaking don't, funny. I don't. It's this fu- it's a cool little accessory that you can buy for your car. I believe mm-hmm. you plug it into a USB port or your little car charger battery uh, the the cigarette lighter yeah. which I they, Do I don't know what to call them anymore anywhere? because they don't have cigarette lighters in no, them. No, no, this is a different one. This one's actually not for, <laughs> not available yet. This okay. one oh. this one's not available yet. A sneak preview? It is. 
All right, Jesse Futon. Yes. What the do you know what that is? I have no idea. Do not. <laughs> okay. It's it's part number one two one G from that. EB Enterprises. It is called the flux capacitor, <laughs> and it, it's it's not available for purchase yet. <laughs> flux? Is, it, is it like a sex out. toy or what? No, it's from the back. Are you serious? I, I don't know. I think I'm going to have to fire her already. <laughs> she doesn't know the flux Great capacitor. Great, Scott. <laughs> oh, my God. This, I from even back put my glasses the, on. I still can't the, say this that. This is heavy. Oh. Back to the future. Oh, like the DeLorean show? Yes, yeah. the DeLorean okay. show. So this... For those who don't oh know, especially John D. Kim, got in a lot of trouble. The flux capacitor is actually the machine that makes time travel possible within the DeLorean. Yes. Once the car gets up to 88 miles per hour, the flux capacitor will kick in and then it will 88. As long as you have the proper voltage applied, the 1.21 gigawatts amount Correct. of voltage. Correct. That's done Fueled from by the either nuclear a bolt reactor. Of yeah. Or Mr. Fusion. Or a nuclear reactor that requires some depleted uranium that uh, you can illegally get from the. the or no, he created his recycling bit. Mr. Right, that, Fusion. that was in the future. Yes. But what was it? The uh, what was it that found him? Oh my God, they found me, Marty. I don't know how, but they found me. Oh, oh, the Libyans! Libyans! The Libyans! <laughs> they found me. <laughs> okay, we're quoting this movie, and All Kim's right. just looking at us like, "What the hell?" Now she we? wants to watch Back to the now Future. She, I yeah. I, you know, I I just know my car goes <laughs> way faster than eighty-eight miles an hour. So. <laughs> <laughs> well, you have to have a flex capacitor and a DeLorean. But anyway, hey, that was the if 80s. You, if you can the find one, that fast. not the <laughs> flex capacitor, the DeLorean. That well, is. they sell them new now. DeLoreans? Yeah, they sell them with mostly new back? parts. We have to the get one and have wings. like a futon on the side of it. <laughs> yes. Can we get oh, a yes. Lambo? Oh, can I take a Lambo? Are we <laughs> putting in our orders? Are we putting in orders for the cars? <laughs> Big John's going to drive around in a smart car, though. Yes. He's in a smart Wait, car. What? That's cool. You can have your smart car. <laughs> you know, I'm going Lambo. People are going to think I'm some sort of fucking hippie because n- nobody knows what I look Big like. Big John, except it, you guys. it's almost 2020. We need to think about the future and our what? planet. You know, you, you know it's not even almost to. Uh, it's John, barely 2018. Like next week. You cannot stop your car with your feet any longer. Come on, man. <laughs> <laughs> I, can, I can see him driving around one of those Flintstone cars like. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, my God. Because all yeah. you guys in your friggin' electric cars, man, you know nothing. We <laughs> still haven't heard why spicy is called spicy. Yeah, we did. It was all bleeped out. Didn't yeah. Tyler just told you, right? <laughs> yep, exactly. No, the real reason. You're the one that you can say on the uh, air. You know, <laughs> I'm trying to protect the guilty and... <laughs> well, you don't have to say <laughs> the names. innocent. Well, that's all me, so I mean... Oh, what okay. I get? <laughs> oh, wait, that was out loud. Damn it. <laughs> no, actually, it's not a very good story, so... Okay. So... That's all. Well, okay. good. We love those. Yes. I know. Just me and my friends were shooting the shit. It was like uh, Cinco de Mayo. And we decided to give ourselves Mexican names. So, so what? So what? Were you originally Caliente Kim awesome. or something? I think there was tequila involved, and so uh, it was. Uh, no, I was no. spicy quimadilla because I was a quesadilla, you know, because quimadilla. I was in between. <laughs> quimadilla. <laughs> <laughs> because my friend hot ta- tamale, and then we had Gina the real deal because she, had, you know, obviously, and we thought, okay, she's got a boxer Mexican name. She's Gina the real deal, you know, and then hot ta- oh tamale. Hot ta- ta- tamale. And then I was like, spicy, <laughs> spicy, spicy kimadilla. kimadilla. <laughs> and then um, I love that story. <laughs> yes, and it made no. me hungry too. I, really I know. Want to go like, get a spicy I think I'm ready to shut this down so I can hit up Taco Bell, even though <laughs> right? it's not really Mexican, right? They didn't have Uber Eats then either. We were in a, a bind. <laughs> let me tell you. <laughs> This is starting to sound a lot like the first couple of seasons of the Dusty Food. <laughs> I know, right? Th- this <laughs> remember, remember that episode when the ice cream man drove yeah. by the garage? <laughs> oh, that's great. That's great. Yeah. Really wondering if we had to pay copyright lawsuit infringement <laughs> stuff about, about the yeah. happy is birthday that, song. Is the happy birthday song free domain. Oh, oh my god, god. that, that is, is so like great. The Jack and oh. the song or something. Oh my remember. god, John. John was there. It's kind of funny thing that you guys bring that up because John was recording his uh, the video for Tragic Tales and Lullabies. Yeah. And so they were recording at a winery, right? And so the, the director was filming kind of up high up on a building, and he was filming the boys on a big life-size uh, checkerboard. Mm-hmm. And so on the bloopers, it's like a FedEx trucks in the background going this way. And then the guys are at a totally different – they're in this different part of the song, and the FedEx trucks <laughs> going back the other way. <laughs> 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 right, yeah, that other day. FedEx, that's product placement. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> <laughs> it was pretty funny. That is, th- this, these are the fun ones. We're gonna have to sprinkle some of these in every now and then with people that aren't musicians. I'm actually currently developing another format where I'm going mm-hmm. to be speaking with some movers and shakers in the industry, um, and even some more famous musicians who are kind of on the side supporting uh, independent music. Right. I'm going to be talking and sitting down with them and doing one-on-ones, and we're going to pepper those in every now and then. Well, you and know, pepper and some Patron, and they might have yes. a... That means that we're not invited? Yes. Ooh. 
That's wow. going to be, yeah. but but you. The party's over. The but, menage is But no Tyler, way. you've got your own format now. Tyler. With Tyler. this cool little prototype device that's going to be displayed. <gasps> at May Rise. Ah, you cannot say what it is. I'm going to bleep all that out. Mm-hmm. I, I said We're teasing it. Display. Oh. We're teasing it. You guys, you have Tyler's going to use it That's for the right. first time. Actually, he's going to uh-huh. use it a few times yes, before that. Yes, you have to come out and see it for yourself. And, and, but then you'll you know, know what? what it is. You never know because it may just kill me. I may just explode. You That's might true. Spontane- Tiny bits, and you want to be there to see that happen. Tyler, you cannot spontaneously combust. Spontaneously combust. That works. You cannot spontaneously. You cannot spontaneously. <laughs> Maybe it com- it. <laughs> you cannot spontaneously combust on me. You what? don't even play the drums. I know because you're married. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh my I god! Am. I am. Did you just say no, that? You can't be a little green globby Jesus. when you have your prototype thingy on. You know, <laughs> 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 it's just not gonna work out. Wow! <laughs> right, the shrapnel. I don't know what just happened. Well. I can't wait to edit that to <laughs> see what just happened right there. That was. I have no idea what that was, but... I do, I do. Oh, okay. pick me, pick me, <laughs> I know. <laughs> that, that's kind of a taste of what you're going to hear uh, this season of the Dusty Futon with uh, Spicy Kim being the co-host for every episode. Tyler and I are kind of sharing duties and hosting, and you're probably going to hear maybe one or two more hosts pop in, maybe a couple more co-hosts over the next few months. Boss man's working me hard, I'm people. I'm doing what I can. I mean, I got that whip cracking. He does. He is an ambitious man. <laughs> big he is. He is. Mm-hmm. Running Big John Entertainment and, 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 and then editing the dusty the futon, futon and yeah. dealing with us. Finding some way to, to squeeze down a jumbo jack into his gullet and go to the bathroom every right. now and then. Like, <laughs> not all heroes wear capes, Big John. I commend <laughs> you. Well, 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 golf club. I do look good in the cape, though, right? <laughs> well, uh, well, that's what she said. Just I don't the know. cape. Yeah. <laughs> Nothing but. <laughs> you don't like the assless chaps, too? <laughs> Wait a minute. All chaps are assless. Or <laughs> <laughs> Do you ever notice that everybody says assless yes, chaps, but chaps are assless? It's like jumbo shrimp. Yes. It's one of those oxymoron things that just <laughs> it, we just say, and we, we're okay with it. You know exactly, what I'm exactly. Have you ever? I mean, they wouldn't be own, chaps with if they weren't assless, right? Do you own a pair of chaps, no, Big John? I'm Perhaps taking pleading back. the fifth. No, no. there you go. <laughs> <laughs> FCC can't touch me. <laughs> <laughs> I every yeah, pair of my pants are assless because that's just I don't have an ass. I'm oh, so you're pelvis. no ass at all. No, no, no ass at all. In <laughs> no fact, ass, all pelvis. Fact, what are you trying to say there, Mr. Long Dong Silver? <laughs> I, I should be sitting what on the it? ottoman, and you should be sitting on this hardwood. That's <laughs> what I'm saying. Because I got the padding in the back. <laughs> <laughs> got junk in the trunk. Booyah. Baby's got back. All righty. Well, we're, we're going to go ahead and get off this and stop annoying people. Because in a week, uh, if, well, gonna... the, if you're listening to it when it drops on Wednesday... Yeah, then it's a week, but if you're slow to the table, I t- <laughs> <laughs> dead air. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that, that either way, April fourth, we're going to debut the episode with Ronnie Lee, which is hosted by Tyler and Spicy Kim. That's right. My lady crush, Ronnie Lee. You're probably saying Ronnie Lee. That sounds really familiar. Yes. Duh. She was with Venus and the Razor Blades, and she co-wrote the song that is. I want to be where the boys are. Which was performed by the Runaways. Correct. Right. Yeah, and it was just a movie talk about it. A little bit about that in the episode. Talk a lot about that because she won't <laughs> shut <laughs> the hell up. It's so a good episode. Ronnie, Ronnie <laughs> could have her own season because she she will go for m- miles. You know? <laughs> but you're gonna learn a lot though when you do listen. It's gonna be a good. Show. Very interesting lady. Do you think that was a good end? The crickets. Yeah. It's the crickets. Always. That's how we always end. I just have to get my two cents in. Yeah, I know you do. Uh, Look, here I am. I'm Big Ham now. Fuck you guys. You created a monster. Okay, bitches, look at at this. is what we're going to do. Yes, Kim's coming out. (laughs) Kim's coming out of her shell. Here's the cool part. (laughs) Out of her tortilla shell. (laughs) He turned turned my mic off. You guys missed a bunch of good shit. (laughs) You can blame him. (laughs) Good fodder. That's what we do. All righty. And then and then do that again. <laughs> exactly. Give it a bop and a boop and a boop. And bippity bobbity boo. Isn't that some like fairy tale thing or something? Yeah, you can't say that because it's copyrighted by the <laughs> corporation. Oh, yeah. I gotcha. Okay. They don't own us yet. They haven't bought us. 
Uh, well, we're, we're for sale, kind of, sort of. So, you know, you can sponsor well, you us, know, but you can't you buy know, us. There's okay. a lot of zeros on that price tag. So. Oh, you know what? Mm-hmm. Actually, that's a good that's a good lead in there, Miss Spicy Kim. Well, Ooh, you can sponsor what are you us. To you, say? you can't buy us, but you can sponsor us. Well, we, we do want to we do want to work with uh, local independent um, small business owners mm-hmm. who want to get their word out there to our fan base and the we musicians g- we talk to. And we want your words out there. We want people to shop local. Yeah, send us an email um, to admin at dustyfutons.com if you're curious about sponsorship or advertisements. Yeah, and local bands hit up admin at dustyfutons.com. Dusty well, Futon, there's no plural. Ooh. Well, admin. then hit up spicy at dustyfutons.com. Or admin at dustyfutons. Or admin at dustyfutons.com. And we still have submit at dusty is that still a thing? it's still there yes good. i don't know where the ep, where the emails go but you can submit anytime <laughs> you want down in the pit <laughs> in, with, a, with a lotion in the back the i forgot the hell, password the deep, the deep depths of hell okay. <laughs> all right well you know what fuck it we're ending this episode peace and love y'all <laughs> just kill it just just kill it already <gasps> it's already dead drop mic <laughs> drop as you can tell, we have a lot of fun here on the Dusty Futon, and the fun is just beginning with this episode, and it is never going to stop with these guys. So, a little bit of craziness happening, but you know what? That is the Dusty Futon, and we are very excited to have our host, Tyler, and her co-host, Spicy Kim, as well as me, Big John B, and the engineer, as well as a little bit of hosting. And we also have Spicy Kim as the executive producer and Allie as our stenographer slash photographer slash assistant director. So thank you guys for your participation in this episode of the Dusty Futon. And make sure you subscribe to us on Spotify, TuneIn, iTunes, Stitcher, Google Play, wherever you can find us. Go to DustyFuton.com to see all those locations. And on DustyFuton.com, you can check out every episode that the Dusty Futon has ever aired. And don't forget to check out Backstage360.com for some incredible information and editorials about bands coming to San Diego and all over the country. Thank you again for listening to this Big John Entertainment production and this episode of the Dusty Futon. We'll see you next week.